Our topic for today is stitch pendant navigation for S4C and S4C Plus ABB robot. The display used to display all information during programming. To change program, etc., it can accommodate 16 lines. Each line can accommodate 40 characters. The joystick is used to jog or move the robot manually, example, when programming the robot. E-stop or emergency stop. Emergency stop when pressed, the robot will stop, regardless of which state or mode the robot system. To turn on the motor again, the e-stop must be returned to its original position. Enabling device for safe operation. When the enabling device is released or pushed all the way in, the guard stop will be activated, meaning the motor is off. To activate the enabling device, you are going to press halfway and the motor will turn on. Our next topic is Windows hard keys. And this is the Windows hard keys. Jogging. Press this key to jog the robot. Program. Press this key to access programming and testing the program. Inputs and outputs. Press this key to manually operate the input and output. Miscellaneous. Press this key to access other windows, example, system parameters. And this is the user defined key. Stop key. Press this key to stop the program execution. Our next topic is navigation keys. List. Press this key to move the cursor from one part of the window to another, normally separated by a double line. Previous or next page. Press this key to see the next and previous page. Up and down arrow keys. Press this key to move the cursor up and down. Left and right arrow key. Press this key to move the cursor to the left or to the right. Our next topic is motion keys. Motion unit, press this key to jog the robot or other mechanical units. Motion type, press this key to select how the robot should be jogged, reorient or linear. Another motion type, press this key to access by access movement. Increment, press this key to incremental jogging on and off. Other keys, contrast, press this key to adjust contrast of the display. Menus key, press this to display the menus containing various commands. Function key, press this key to select various commands directly. Delete, press this key to delete data selected on display. Enter, press this key to input data. Press this key to function to be defined by the user. For your additional reference, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that every time I will upload a new video, you will be notified. Our topic for today is how to update ABB robot S4C revolution counter. This is also applicable to S4, S4C, and S4C+. On manual mode, the robot speed is 250mm per second maximum. And also, I have a video at the end of this presentation about the S4C flex pendant. Now, let's go back to the topic. Tap the miscellaneous other window service. After that, click view and the number 3 calibration. After that, select number 1 revolution counter update. If you want to do fine calibration, choose number 2. To update, include access and press OK to confirm. And now your robot is synchronized. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that every time I will upload a new video, you will be notified. And also, check my other video like interview question and answer, hydraulic pneumatic, Fanoc Robotics, Motor Controls, and many more.
Next, I'm going to show you the witness mark of every axis of the robot. But first, I'm going to familiarize you the main component of robot. This is the base, this is the first arm, and this is the second arm. And this is the joint one, joint two, joint three, joint four, joint five, and joint six. This is the axis number one, and this is the mechanical drawing showing which locations of axis number one, axis or joint one, axis or joint two, located on first arm. This is the location of axis two, and this is the actual location of axis two on the robot. This is axis three. And this is the actual locations of mechanical drawing and actual locations of the mechanical robot. Axis four, this is the tough view. And this is the actual location of axis four on the robot. Axis or joint five. This is the actual location, and this is the actual location of mechanical robot. And the last one is axis 6, and this is the actual locations of the drawing, and actual locations of the robot. That's it, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.
Thank you.